I'm telling you, Mother, we have plenty of time. Is the train going to be late, Daddy? Do just about now, dear. Well, I hope we haven't forgotten anything. Mary, you were a dear to help out. I'm glad I could. Never could have done it without you. And you being so calm and all. Of course, she isn't much excited about his coming home. <laughs> How soon are you going to have a wedding in the family now, Mary? <laughs> oh, dear, please stop. <laughs> what makes the train late, Dad? Don't know that it is, dear. Let's go in and check and see if it's on schedule. OK. <laughs> well, I hope he isn't late. Dinner's all ready. Reminds me, Mary, of when your dad and me came home from France in 1918. Did we have a time? So I've heard. Not about this, you haven't. Now, Dick, don't start making up things about Mary's dad. Is he coming down to the station, Mary? No, he has a legion meeting. But he said for Paul to come on over after. Uh -huh. Sure, Mom. Uh, how about your bag, son? That's all I've got with me. Well, how does it feel to be out, huh? Great. What do you think? <laughs> but why haven't you written? You've been so worried. Paul, where's your uniform? Why aren't you wearing it? Why, yes. Where is it? Well, I thought I'd like to wear civvies for a change. That's all. Certainly a lot we have to catch up on. Oh, my, yes. Oh, Paul, we're going to have a party. Chicken ice cream and all that 
that last piece of chicken. Do you good. Put on a little weight. Here you go. No, really I couldn't. I'm, I'm stuck. Why, you've hardly eaten anything. No matter, don't they teach you to eat in the service anymore? That's something we really learned. <laughs> <laughs> I'll bet you ate plenty of good service food, eh, son? No, the cooks ruin it. Besides, they don't give you time enough to eat. Work, drill, scrub. Oh, poor Paul. Funny, I thought we fed our servicemen pretty well these days. They watch over you every minute. Rules, regulations, you never get a chance to do what you want to do. But, Paul, we all have to live by rules. We've got rules down at the shop, but we get along all right. Don't bother the poor boy tonight, Fred. Oh, Paul, I saw Mr. Turner on the street this afternoon, and I went down to tell Mary, and he says that any time you wanted a job, to come down and see him. What doing did he say? I said, Paul's going to college, Mr. Sutton, on his GI Bill. Paul and Mary worked it all out before he went away. Maybe I will go down and see him. I said, maybe he's even going to be a lawyer. You mean not go to school, son? You know, I might get a better deal at the factory. More money, you know. Not more than a lawyer, Paul. I certainly wish I'd had a chance to go to college. With the government paying your way, Paul, you wouldn't pass that up. I don't know. Maybe. School's a lot of work. But I thought we... I know, but I changed my mind. Can a guy change his mind once in a while? Young lady, it's way past your bedtime. Up you go. Oh, please, Mama. Just this once. I want to see Paul. You can see Paul all you like tomorrow. Gee, it is late. Maybe we should start Paul's death waiting up to say hello. Okay. Say good night and up you go. Good night. Good night. Good night, dearie. I'm so glad you're home, Paul. So am I, kiddo. And will you come tell the kids at school about where, where you've been and all, just like the other kids' brothers do? Well, sure, kiddo. We'll try and fix it up. Okay. Good night. Good night, Judy. Good night, good night. Good night dear. Dinner was delicious. Thank you so much. Well, thank yourself, Mary. I've never done it without you. Certainly was good. Here are the keys, son. Okay. Good night. Good night, dear. Good night. Good, good night. night. And remember, you two, I expect you to take her straight home. <laughs> Dad's waiting. I can see the light. Let him wait another couple of minutes. I've been waiting a lot longer than that. Why didn't you write, darling? We've been so worried. I told you. I, I was busy. I didn't give us time. You always found time before. Well, I... I had different duty. You know, things change. Yes, I do know. People change, too. Meaning what? Paul, you, you're different. You've changed somehow. How? Well, I don't know. You... Nothing. I'm just tired, I guess. Let's go in. Dad wants to talk to you about joining the Legion. He's district commander now, you know, and he takes it all so seriously. Yeah. Big wheel. 
He's trying to get everyone coming out of the service now to join up. You'll make a big hit if you say yes. You can imagine. Come on, Paul. Hey, wait a minute. You know, before we go in, maybe there's something you should know. Something your old man might not go for. What? Well, you see, I... I got out before my hitch was up. Didn't you notice? No, what do you mean? Well, on the books, I still got nearly four months to go. Well, how did you manage to do that? Simple, if you know your way around. Ever hear of a BCD? No, what is it? It's an easy out if you and the military don't mix. That fits me exactly. What do you mean, Paul? What did you do? I haven't done anything. Don't give me that tone. I, I just got fed up and wanted out. It's military stuff for the birds. They overstay leave a little and they give me a rough time. I... Well, I just didn't like it. I found out if you follow up often enough, even on little things, they toss you out. That's what I did. You mean you got into trouble on purpose? Just little things, nothing much. And why won't Dad like it? You know, these outfits like the Legion, they're pretty sticky. You gotta have a white ticket. What's a white ticket? Honorable discharge. And what have you got? I told you, BCD. What does that mean? Bad conduct discharge. Oh. Your mother and father know about this? No. They wouldn't understand. It'd bother them. Is this why you didn't write? Yeah. Matter of fact, it is. You see, I... I had to do some time. I didn't want them to find out about it. I see. Well, for gosh sake, say something. You act like I've committed a crime or something. It's because I'm smarter than these other suckers. What did you say? Who heard me? Two of those suckers happen to be my brothers. Oh, I didn't mean them. They get along all right in the service. Well, so what? I don't like it. Stop yelling at me. I'll yell all I like. Not at me, you won't. Let me go. Look, Mary. Just because I wanted to get out of the service before my time was up. Why should you? Everybody else serves this time. Well, I smartened up. You sure did. Too smart for me. There's a Mr. Elton to see you. Paul Elton? Yes, that's right. Well, send him in. Come right in, Mr. Elton. Well, Paul, welcome home. Awfully glad to see you. Well, it's good to be back. I ran into Judy yesterday, and uh, she told me the good news. She sure is proud of her brother. Yeah, she, she mentioned seeing you. Said something about a job. That's right. Uh, here, sit down, Paul. Mm, sit down. Thanks. I, uh, I thought you said something about your going to college. Well, I've, I've been thinking about it, but there's no hurry. I, I thought I'd look around first. Sure. Well, we've got some openings, some pretty good ones, too. Uh, we can go over all that. The starter, uh, fill out this form. Yeah. OK. Now, what I would suggest is that we try to arrange on the job training for you. Well, what's that? Or didn't you know? Since you're a veteran, the government will pay part of your salary while you learn a new job. Oh, yeah, they, they did say something about that. You get better training that way, and you take home more money, which I guess is OK with you, huh? Yeah, sure. <laughs> we uh, do that with all the returning vets now. Well, how does it work? You just go down to the post office with your discharge papers, 
There's a VA representative there once a week. Today's his day. I uh, suggest you go down there right away. Okay. I'll do it. Post office, you said. That's right. Then come on back here and we'll be all set, huh? Okay. <laughs> So, Mr. Sutton thought I should come down and see you first. Good. That's what we're here for. Got your papers with you? Yeah. Okay. Wait a minute. I guess I didn't understand, Elton. What do you mean? You've got a bad conduct discharge here, given by a general court. How do you expect to get GI benefits? Not even this uh, on-the-job training thing? Afraid not. As I understand it, you don't get anything. State or federal? Well, I... I knew I couldn't go to school. No. No on-the-job training. No bonuses or educational benefits. No home or business loans. Nothing. I see. The services give a man a pretty fair trial, we find. They don't pass these things out without good reason. Well... What about getting this thing changed in six months? I heard something about writing to Washington. Well, you can write to Washington. But getting it changed is another matter. These things are never changed without good cause. You think you got a fair shake? Well, I... You got a fair trial, didn't you? Yeah, I... Counsel to represent you? See that all your legal rights were considered? That there was no prejudice? Yeah, I... I guess so, I... Well, then. And I doubt, Elton, that under the circumstances, Sutton will want to take you into his factory here. Why not? Well, this is outside my bailiwick, you understand. But let me ask you, would you take on a man with a BCD? I don't know. It, it depends. That's it. It depends on a good deal. A BCD is a danger flag. It suggests a man's unreliable or irresponsible. That's the problem you have to face. Once you get one of these things, it stays with you. Well, I... I guess I'll live through it. Some guys aren't so particular. I hope you'll find it that way. Send in your papers if you like. We'll do what we can. Though I doubt it'll help much. No, skip it. I'll get by okay. I hope so, Elton. Good luck anyway. Thanks. Charlie, how's the guy? Great, I'm great. I heard you were back. When did you get in? Just yesterday. Oh, and first thing, you I put it down to the VA with your hand out. Boy, you haven't changed a bit. I don't know. How about yourself? I finished up school on the GI Bill, and now I'm buying a farm. No kidding? Yeah, the winter place. I just came in to fix up the loan, and uh, you'll have to come on and see us sometime. Well, I, I'd like to, but I'm going to be sort of busy, so I, I don't... Oh, that's right. You're going into the factory, I hear. Who told you that? Sutton. I just ran into him. The <laughs> news travels fast around here, boy. Sure does. I'll try and get out. Okay, do that, and uh, remember me to your folks. Yeah, sure. So long. What did you do? I ran into Judy yesterday and uh, she told me the good news. 
She sure is proud of her brother. Your mother and father know about this. Would you take on a man with a BCD? They get along all right in the service. News travels fast around here, boy. You mean you got into trouble on purpose? You got a fair trial, didn't you? Everybody else serves his time. Boy, you haven't changed a bit. Well, you're different. You've changed somehow. Poor Paul. Paul. A BCD is a danger flag. Once you get one of these things, 